Hi Anne, thank you for your latest video of bar 10 of the Telemann um, first movement of number nine uh, fantasy. And I really like both of your solutions. You're exactly correct that it's, it's a circle of fifths progression sequence. Um, I think both of your solutions are fine. What I would offer is that I think there's more chromatic motion in the inner voice or the bottom voice, however you want to hear it, uh, than you're giving it credit for. And I think it's less about the theory in terms of the exact label for the chord. Uh, yes, it's it's full of sevenths on alternating alternating chords, but also think about the contour of the upper voice. So if we're copying that more closely, the way that I hear it is, is closer to this. Right, rather than... Which is what you did, and then... So you're, you're depriving us of those two golden chromatic moments. I think there's a little bit more to, to dig out there. And that way we're preserving the contour of... Whole step followed by half step in descent. So... And if we add in that... So I'm, I'm just copying and I'm, I'm keeping more of a dialogue between those voices. Um, so with that in mind, you could keep a, a similar idea to what you were doing. Something like this. Which is, which is what you had been doing. Or if you want to think about the mm, the fact that it, the the seventh is in the bass, if if we're calling it we're calling it the the seventh of the chord, um, that really destabilizes it. And it rather than a you know bum 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 five one five one five one temporary sort of really definitive motion, it's much more contemplative if we keep it in the in the inversion that he's written and it gives us the chance to do a total descending chromatic line so here's uh what that something something like that would sound like So anyway, it's, it's food for thought, um, but the, the solutions you've come up with are completely, let's say, correct if we want to use that word. Um, this just gives it more chromatic flavor and I think is listening to the contours and having dialogue with the inner, inner voice or lower voice um, and the, the melody on top that he's written. So I hope this is somewhat helpful and I look forward to more.